Hello, I'm Dr. Anton Kancha. I'm a chiropractor here in Green Hills. I've been a chiropractor for the last 10 years. I went to school in California, in Palmer West. I've been in practice for, like I said, 10 years, three years here in the Philippines. Um, I treat a lot of patients with back injuries, uh, neck pains resulting from uh, sports injuries, arthritis pain, and just your everyday back and neck aches. Most of the athletes that I see in the clinic, uh, a lot of them have a combination of back pain, uh, knee injuries, shoulder injuries, depending on the sport that they are engaged in. Uh, in the clinic, we do several treatments depending on the types of injuries that they come in with. Um, we do a combination of therapy, spinal manipulation, um, you know, muscle therapy, we do muscle taping. Um, a lot of uh, these injuries, uh, most athletes don't really know how to manage it themselves, especially if it's the first time that they injure themselves. So one of the common take-home things that I, that I always advise my athlete patients is um, when to apply cold compress versus uh, warm compress. Um, the rule of thumb, the first 48 hours, you always want to apply cold compress 20 minutes at a time as often as you can. The idea there is we want to control or, or limit the amount of swelling um, that's going to take place from an injury, uh, especially the swelling that you don't see, uh, such as the back or deep structures in the body. You know? With, in dealing with athletes, a lot of athletes always ask the question of, Doc, uh, is there anything else I can take other than um, drugs or medication uh, to help with the swelling or to, to cut down on inflammation? So I always tell patients that there are natural sources of anti-inflammatories. Um, uh, pineapple and papaya are, are two fruits that, have, that are high in uh, uh, anti-inflammatory enzymes, uh, namely papain and bromelain. Um, so that's a good source of uh, anti-inflammatories if, if you're not into, if you don't want to take medication. Uh, and the best way is always to uh, a natural or raw form, what we call um, fresh fruit, not canned, not frozen. Um, the more fresh, the better. Um, vitamin C is also good in, for dealing with tissue repair and, and uh, regeneration. Most people think that uh, vitamin C is only for when you're getting sick, when you have a cold, but when it comes to tissue healing uh, coming from injuries, it's good to load up with vitamin C. Um, another option is, if we really want to get in a little bit more detail, is to go on what's called an anti-inflammatory diet. Uh, this is more important for arthritis patients, but um, people who engage in a lot of sports who, who have chronic injuries also can benefit from this. Um, what does that mean? Uh, cutting down on red meat, a good balance of omega-3s and omega-6 uh, uh, fatty acids, uh, a lot of the red meat saturated fats, they, they, they do lead to a lot of inflammation that, that we don't see. Again, I'm Dr. Anton Kancha for Project Lifestyle TV. Subscribe to the channel to learn more about other healthy lifestyle tips and information.